only one child is with the directress. What happens in this is that the child feels the most important person. The directress is now only with me. And she will give the presentation, child will watch carefully and she will be able to handle it in a better way. But sometimes we have children of the same age in the class. The progress level is the same, age is the same. So you can give presentations in a group of four to five children. For that also we have to take the consent of every child separately. Child should be asked, would you like to do this exercise with me? And when the child agrees, then we take them to the place of material, bring the material, and you have to see that the child is seated comfortably. Do not make the child stand during the presentation. Many directresses feel that it's only for a few minutes. If a child stands, it doesn't matter. I have to sit but it is not so. First of all, they should be on the same level. The directress and the child should be sitting on the same level, same type of chairs. No big high chairs for the directress. Sit with the child and give the presentation. If it is a group, everybody should get a clear view. So the second type of presentation is the group presentation. First was the individual presentation then the group presentation and the third type of presentation is a collective presentation. In this, the whole class is involved. And for this we have the rhymes and the poems, we have artwork, singing, things which children enjoy together. Because if you ask one child to do the singing or the poems, he will not enjoy it. But if it is in a group, they learn better and they enjoy it. So Hari Montessori has given us three types of presentations, individual, group, and collective. Now, nowadays the term group is used, being used for the collective exercises, but group, my group, Hari Montessori meant a small group, four to five children of the same age. So once the child is successful in achieving a good response from the, then he will be able to carry on with the exercises. Do not stop the child in between. Child will continue according to his needs and he will repeat an exercise until he is satisfied. The technique is that the presentation should be accurate, precise and it should involve the child also. You have to involve the child. Do not just let the child sit aside. If a child can fold or unfold a mat, let him do that for you. If the child wants to hold the material for bringing it to the table, let the child hold it. Because involvement is important. Once the child is involved in the activity, he will be more lively, he will be more alert, he will wait for you that when next time you will ask the child to do something. So we have to involve the child. Another important thing is do not speak while presenting. And do not present while speaking. If you are doing a reaction, then child is watching you. But if you are speaking something, child is listening to you. And if two things are being done at the same time, then attention is diverted. He either, he either will watch you or he will listen to you. So even for the simplest action, we have to do one thing at a time. Speak when you are not presenting and while you are doing the presentation, whenever you are doing the action, do not speak. Finish one thing and then for that will be good for the child, he will be able to concentrate on that. So the different aspects of the presentation are important. How much we involve the child through the presentation, that will be seen in the working of the child. Do not expect wonders that I just now I have shown you. Because child is there to learn, to practice. And the more he practices, the perfection he will get. There are many teachers who say, who are annoyed with the child. I have shown you, you have been doing this for so many times. Why not the response? 
my child is on the road of progress. He is learning with every effort. He is making uh, inner discovery of himself. He is not yet a complete person. Child has to go through a different stages of development. And he is going through so much tough time also. Have you ever realized the aspect of the child? He has so many schedules to follow. He has to satisfy so many people. A little child, forced by the mother, get up at this time, do this, do this. And when the child in return wants to do anything by himself, he is always being stopped. No. No. It's always no from the adult side. Child wants to brush his hair. No, no, no. We are in a hurry. No one let me do it. Even the simplest thing he is not allowed to do. He wants to dress himself. No. He will not be able to do. Why? Because parents are in a hurry. There is no time. But child has all the time. He wants to do things for himself. He wants to relate to the environment just the adults are doing. All adults are dressing up themselves. Nobody is helping each other. So why not allow the child a little bit of freedom so he can also do it? Allow the child simple activities. <coughs> Let me put one example from my child's life. She was the little girl with long hair. She wanted to all the time brush her hair. At home she was allowed to do it. And once for school when she was getting ready, she made a very untidy ponytail. She tied it up herself. It was very untidy. And then wherever the hair was coming out, she used to put a clip. So father was annoyed in the morning. Why is she so messy? And said, no, let her go like that. It is her effort. Let her go. And the teacher who was trained, first she saw the child and she was shocked. What happened? Nobody brushed your hair today. And what she said? No. Auntie, I have done myself. Although the teacher was shocked, I was watching them. She was very shocked, but then she appreciated. It's nice, you have done your own work. So it is up to us how we handle the child. She could have shouted on the little girl. Why are you so untidy for school? Why doesn't anybody care for you? She could have called the parents. But it is up to us how we handle the situation as a director. As a directress, a great responsibility comes for implementing the EPL exercises. The material is there, the exercises are there, the child is there, but the interaction between the directress and the material and the child is important. These are the three aspects of the Montessori triangle. If you allow the child to handle the material carefully, then he will be able to do the things well. And our aim as a directress is always the betterment of the child. To achieve a goal where the child will be well settled. Because these exercises prepare the child mentally <coughs> also. The intelligence develops through the EPL exercises. You let the child concentrate, he will develop more concentration for later exercises for the academics. You let the child judge the amount of quantity it prepares for the mathematical aspect. You let the child work with the touching of things, it will help develop sensorial impressions. While you are doing the activities, you introduce new words, so language is developing. Indirectly, the EPL exercises lays the foundation for all the other subjects. Preparation for life. And you will recall yourself for the best of these activities. Let the child explore the world around him. Explore the environment. Let the child be preparing the indoor environment as well as the outdoor environment. Because in the outdoor environment, child becomes closer to nature. He is handling the things which are gifts of God. Appreciate the little flowers, the birds with the children and they will also start liking, aesthetic sense will develop and they will love and care for those. So it is up to us how well we will 
let the child interact with the EPL exercises. Many people look down upon the EPL exercises. I don't want my child to do this. I don't want my child to touch the, the uh, flowers and the trees. The hands get dirty. Why should my child water the plants? It is not that. It develops a love and care for the environment, for the surroundings, for the things in him, which will develop his personality, develop the intellect. But when you talk about the academic aspect or the intellectual development, every parent, every adult is willing that yes, my child should do this. <coughs> Encourage the child for academic activities. But the base is to be found in EPA exercises. Those children who are not from such a literate background, they also prepare well-settled people, then they are sent to Montessori environments. But Montessori also should be the base for the learning of these children in different aspects, not only the academics. We should not just encourage the child that he will be able to write, for writing hand has to be prepared. How it is prepared? Through the EPL exercises. As we will do the exercises, you will see that each exercise gives the aim and the age. So EPL is basically a training for the future, a basic development of personality, a link between the other subjects of the Montessori system, and if this base is given in a well in prepared and pleasant environment, then it develops the interest in learning. Once the interest is developed, then the child will go on successfully on the road of progress. Because every child has to do his own growing up. For that, you need a lot of movement, a lot of activity. And it is done best through EPL exercises where no energy is wasted. All energy is diverted into purposeful activity. No imagination, no just play. It is work. It is real work with real objects, which child is seeing around. Once he is doing that, he is adjusting to the environment, he is developing his personality, he is settling down well, and then he is able to progress. So do not look up, look down upon the EPL exercises. Encourage the people to understand the basic concepts. Once the basic concept is clear that yes, these are real life exercises. They are part of our life. They help to develop the personality of the child as well as they maintain the environment, they develop the skills of the child. The child will also start respecting them. He will benefit from them. And the main purpose of the Montessori system is that the child should adjust to the environment and the roots lie in the Montessori system. Uh, for those of you who are listening, uh, it was perfect. Perfect for the reason that when a directress speaks, uh, she's so soft-spoken, she's graceful, and that is a quality about Van Meher's personality which I never fail to appreciate or, you know, it always attracts me. Like, sometimes I find myself, I'm a bit too loud. Um, since we train teachers, our personality changes. But Van Meher still holds a sweet, loving, caring, gentleness in her personality, which is the part of her. Uh, and as we say, simply beautiful. Uh, okay, now what is next? First of all, uh, yesterday you must have received a program. Yes. Uh, there has been a technical mistake. Uh, typing mistake, something has been overlooked. And that is, if you note the names of the master trainers, uh, the master trainers and the speakers, there is a name that is missing, and a very important name, a very senior name, and that is Mrs. Alia Nusrat. Okay, so we apologize for that. It's just been overlooked and proofreading may be uh, ignored. Her name is there later on for the language presentation and lectures and so on. But uh, as a key the main person, so kindly include that right now in your workshop program. Uh, 
with the names like this Mrs. Anjum Akhtar, Nusrat Pakar, Nazra Amri, Meher Chavez, Asma Naeem, Batul Ishaq, Nadia Salauddin, Itrat Fatma, Amina Rafiq, Shumaila Shiraz, and of course, and of course, Mrs. Alia Nusrat. So do that please. And Alia, I hope you are hearing, you will be seeing this. So we have noticed and want to change how could the workshop team be complete without you. EPL, and it's great to see you chip in and everybody tries to wear EPL, that is yellow color. The team for EPL today and tomorrow will be Mrs. Meher Chave and Ms. Batul Isha. So these are the ladies. giving the presentation and ma'am May Batul will be giving you the detail about the presentation, the material, the point of interest, the age, the aim, the control of error. You will notice a change um, that ma'am had just brought into her personality. And anybody knows what that change is? Yes. She has very neatly and tidily tied up and pinned up and bound up her hair which is so important because sometimes during presentation our hair is a source of distraction and many times teachers are doing something and then they're doing and I once saw a child he was pouring water and every now and then he will stop and do this because what the teacher was doing so that's the look of the directress and without wasting any more time it's all over to Mrs. Meher Chavid and Ms. Batul the 
uh, if the prey must be shiny and might be colorful, so definitely it attracts the child's attention. Control of error, improper holding, falling of the tray, and any sound made while putting the tray down. Control of error, that is the beauty of all the exercises in Montessori system, that the Montessori directors never point out the mistakes herself that you are doing wrong. Correct it. Even with a like, smiling face, you are doing wrong. No, this, this is going to definitely shatter the confidence of the child. The material itself is built in such a way that it tells the child that you are doing something wrong. And this pushes the child to uh, do the correction of his mistakes. So definitely if the uh, director is doing activity properly and there is no fall of the tray or there is no sound while putting it on the table, so child simply try to imitate the same, simple same activity as uh, Mama Jung simply said right now. So uh, the more you master the exercises as a trainer, so uh, as a Montessori director, so, so it will be a great help for you later on so that the child will repeat in the same uh, perfection. Age is two and a half year. We always give the age, that is the mental age or you can say the average mental age of the child. By observing the child once with the practice, when once you started working with the child, you come to know about the um, what is actually meant by it is not always that age, but it is the average mental age of the child that is two and a half year. Okay? So let's start. Yes. Interesting exercise. Who would like to do with us? Would you like to come and do the presentation? Would you like to do the exercise of holding a tray? Come with me. What's your name? Sadhak, come with me. I'll show you the material for holding a tray. Thank you. 
prepare the eye and hand and muscular movement and control, willpower, all these things, we are giving these basic exercises. And if you see, in normal system, there is only paper and pencil. Whatever is taught, any subject, and either science, geography, culture, you teach anything with paper, pencil, and book. But here in the Montessori system, we develop all these aspects which are very much, very much necessary for a balanced personality. So apart from um, uh, reading and writing and maths, these are again very much important because ultimately after studying, after passing out uh, the graduate or masters or PhD, whatever you've done in life, you have to live your life as a balanced person uh, in whatever field you are working with. So these are the foundation stage. This is the foundation age when you put all your concentration on the child and later on you will enjoy all the fruits. So, next exercise, carrying the glass of water. Now, who would like to be the child? Hello, how are you? Okay, Aisha, would you like to do a very interesting exercise? Yes, okay. We will do carrying a glass of water. Would you like to come with me? When the directors ask the child, 
Did you hear any sound? What does that mean? Even whatever the director speaks during the quiet time of presentation, this there is a particular reason behind that. We actually wanted the child to become aware that directors is while the directress is doing any activity, the sound is not produced. Where it should not be produced, where it should be, then there is something else. Right? Okay. Age two and a half years. So do you know the name of the next exercise? Which one? Holding a jug. Now who wants to come? Hello, how are you? Fine. Would you like to do a new exercise with me? Okay, I will show you a very interesting exercise of holding a jug. Come with me, let's go to the material. Age, 
again two and a half years. This is the science of holding a spoon. Now who will come? Come somebody from this side. Hello Sakina, how are you? Would you like to do a new exercise today? Yes. Okay, come with me. I'll show you holding a spoon.
Yes, would you like to come? Yeah, sure. Hello, how are you? What's your name? Samara, so, what were you doing? Sitting. Okay, we should we do not waste our time just by sitting. We will do something interesting. I'll show you a new exercise of taking off an apron. Okay, would you like to come with me?